Over a billion years ago, in an ancient world unrecognisable to us today, the land that would become Western Australia lay in silence. It was a world dominated by vast shallow seas, barren rocky outcrops, and an atmosphere thick with the primal breath of an evolving planet. The ground beneath, an ancient craton of the Archean Age, had withstood millennia of shifting tides and geological upheaval, but nothing could have prepared this land for what was about to come. From the depths of space, unseen and undetected, a celestial traveller barreled toward Earth. A monstrous rock, between 3 to 5 kilometres across, silent in its descent, but carrying with it the power to alter the very crust of the planet. This was no ordinary event. It was an impact that would carve a scar into the land. A wound so deep that even over a billion years of erosion and geological transformation, its echoes would remain. The rock hurtled through the void, travelling at a speed of over 20 kilometres per second, 60 times faster than the speed of sound. At that velocity, it would cross the distance from the moon to Earth in less than 6 minutes. It had no consciousness, no purpose, only an inevitable collision dictated by the laws of celestial mechanics. It had travelled for eons, a remnant of the solar system's violent past, drifting through the dark reaches of space until this fateful moment. Don't forget to click on that subscribe button, hit the bell icon, and like this video, as it's the best way to support this channel, and if you enjoy it, consider sharing it around. As the asteroid entered Earth's atmosphere, the air in front of it was compressed with such force that it ignited into a plasma hotter than the surface of the sun. The very sky seemed to burn as a fireball, brighter than anything ever seen, as it streaked toward the ground. The pressure waves preceding its arrival shattered the stillness of the land. For a brief moment, a deafening silence followed, as if the Earth itself were inhaling in anticipation of the coming cataclysm. And then, impact. In the moment the asteroid struck, time itself seemed to fracture. In an instant, millions of tons of rock were vaporised. The sheer energy released was equivalent to millions of nuclear bombs, detonating simultaneously. The shockwave rippled outward, spitting solid rock like glass, sending seismic waves deep into the Earth, triggering earthquakes that would be felt across vast regions. Mountains of debris were hurled into the air, some thrown beyond the pull of gravity, escaping into space to drift as new asteroids. The sky darkened as molten rock and dust rained back upon the land. At the heart of the impact, the force drove deep into the crust, causing a rebound effect. The ground, compressed by the unimaginable force, rebounded like a droplet of water in slow motion, pushing a vast column of melted and shattered rock skyward. This uplifted dome, now known as the Tea Granite, would become the core of this impact structure, a silent testament to the violence of that moment. The blast left a crater nearly 30 kilometers in diameter. Concentric rings of shattered rock formed around the epicenter, a multi-ring structure resembling the ripples in a pond. But these ripples were made of mountains, thrown up by the seismic shock and frozen in place by the aftermath. The ground was littered with shatter cones, jagged shocked rock formations created only under the immense pressures of an impact event. Within the crystalline structures of the rock, planar deformation features, microscopic scars left by shock waves moving faster than sound through quartz, provided undeniable evidence of the asteroid's violent intrusion. For days, weeks, perhaps even months after the impact, the world around Shoemaker was a landscape of fire and chaos. The atmosphere remained thick with dust, blocking out the sun and causing temperatures to plummet. Acid rain, created from vaporized minerals reacting with the atmosphere, poured from the skies, scouring the land. The very composition of the air had changed. But in destruction, there is also creation. In the wake of the impact, hydrothermal systems roared to life. Superheated water, forced through the fractured crust, began to circulate through the shattered rock. These waters carried with them dissolved minerals, reshaping the underground world. Veins of quartz formed, iron oxides accumulated, and sulphide minerals were deposited, enriching the region with elements that would remain hidden for over a billion years waiting to be discovered. It was in these post-impact conditions that some of Shoemaker's mineral wealth, 
iron formations and base metal deposits began to take shape, a gift forged in fire and pressure. As the millennia passed, the land healed, but it never forgot. The once pristine crater eroded, its sharp edges softened by time, its rings of fractured stone buried beneath layers of new sediment. But the scars remained, hidden in the rocks beneath the surface, waiting for discovery. In 1974, geologists surveying the region noticed an anomaly, a near-perfect circular structure, visible from aerial photographs and satellite images. What had once been mistaken for a volcanic feature was revealed to be something far more profound, an ancient impact crater, deeply eroded but unmistakable. Studies confirmed what the land had long known. The Shoemaker impact structure was a remnant of one of the most violent episodes in Earth's deep history. Named in honour of Eugene Shoemaker, a pioneer of planetary impact science, the structure remains one of Australia's most significant impact craters. Though it lacks the intact grandeur of younger craters, its legacy is woven into the very fabric of the continent. A silent witness to a time when the sky fell and the earth reshaped itself in response. But today, when one walks across the land where the impact once occurred, there is an unshakable sense of the past lingering beneath the surface. The granite domes, the altered rocks, the magnetic anomalies in the Earth's crust, they whisper the story of that ancient day, when a wandering asteroid found its final destination, and in doing so, left a mark that time could not erase. The Shoemaker impact also left behind a hidden treasure, geophysical anomalies. Below the surface, unusual magnetic and gravity signatures hint at the destruction and restructuring of the Earth's crust. The central uplift, revealed by a gravity anomaly, suggests a vast underground region of fractured, low-density rock shaped by the unimaginable forces of the impact. The hydrothermal activity that followed did more than deposit valuable minerals. It may have provided a temporary refuge for microbial life. Studies of other impact craters suggest that post-impact hydrothermal systems could create environments suitable for extremophiles, organisms capable of surviving in the most hostile conditions. If life existed in this ancient era, it is possible that Shoemaker's impact structure played a role in its evolution, offering warmth and chemical-rich waters in an otherwise devastated landscape. Dating the impact was a challenge, but geologists determined that the event likely occurred between 1630 and 1260 million years ago, based on radiometric dating of altered minerals in the crater's central uplift. The T granite itself is much older, dating back 2.648 billion years, meaning the impact occurred long after the formation of the underlying crust. Some younger mineral ages suggest post-impact hydrothermal activity may have persisted for hundreds of millions of years after the event, further reshaping the region's geology. Asteroid impacts like Shoemaker's are not just remnants of the Earth's past, they are reminders of the cosmic dance in which our planet participates. Even today, thousands of near-Earth objects roam the solar system, their orbits unpredictable, their fates unknown. The same forces that shaped Shoemaker still exist, waiting, perhaps, for another moment in deep time when the sky will fall once again. I hope you found this as interesting as I did. And as always, thanks for watching. Before I end this video, I'd like to give a big shout out to my Patreon and YouTube members. Thank you so much to everyone that helps to support this channel.